In the last section, we explored the relationships between the circuit variables voltage, current, and resistance. Now we will look at how these electrical quantities are related to power. For now, we will consider only DC circuits with resistive loads. Later, when we consider AC circuits with loads that are not purely resistive, be prepared to expand your understanding of power beyond what will be presented here. Recall that in general, power is a measure of how much work is being done per unit of time, or the rate of converting energy. Also recall that work is equal to electric charge times voltage. This means that we can substitute the expression charge times voltage for work in the equation for power, which can then be written in this form. Recalling that the definition of electric current is charge divided by time, and making this substitution in the equation, we see that the power relationship can then be expressed as power equals current times voltage. In the case of electric circuits, it is electrical energy that is being converted into another form, and it is the rate at which this conversion occurs that is called electrical power. As you learned previously, the base unit of power is the watt. So again, electrical power P is equal to current I times voltage V. This relationship is often incorrectly referred to as Watt's law, but is really a statement of Joule's law. In this course, we will usually call it simply the power formula. You will be using this important relationship often as you work with electricity, so you should take the time to fully commit it to memory. As we stated earlier, it is important to keep in mind that we have restricted our discussion to power in DC circuits with resistive loads. Later we will consider what happens when we add other types of loads, or an AC power source, or both, and show how this result can be extended to those cases. There are two other useful forms of the power formula, which can be obtained by solving the equation algebraically for I or for V. For example, by first dividing both sides of the equation by V, and then simplifying, we arrive at one alternative form of the power formula, I equals P divided by V. To obtain a second important alternative form of the power formula, solve the original form for V. From this result, we see that voltage is equal to power divided by current. You should be prepared to use all three forms of the power formula. They are all equivalent, and they express the relationship between voltage, current, and power in any DC electric circuit with resistive loads. Here are three examples that demonstrate the use of the power formula.